This is a barrage leveling build for the rogue. We are going to use double imbuements for the build. It is a fairly balanced build which can clear mobs and bosses efficiently and you should be able to breeze through 250. Firstly, I want to cover how the build plays. But before that, just like all my other videos, I've made a graphic detailing all the important things that make up this build. You can download or check out the graphic in the description and comments below. Now to the playstyle. So even though Barrage is a ranged ability, we will try to position fairly close to the enemies since Barrage spreads like a shotgun. If you were too far, most of the damage will miss. Especially with bosses or single target, you want to get right next to them so every shot lands to maximize the damage. So the first thing you want to do is get fairly close to the enemy or you can jump into a marked target with Shadow Step. Puncture first to guarantee vulnerable on the target and then Shadow Imbue if it's a large group of mobs and let loose on your Barrage. You want to hit a vulnerable target first to do enhanced barrage passive. The passive gives more chance for barrage to ricochet if it hits a vulnerable target. And then after you use up your shadow imbue, load up on poison imbuement next. And right after you load up, you want to put down your poison trap. So that we can get a chance to reset both our imbuements with countering poison trap. 30% chance we reset the imbuements. That is basically the full rotation for maximum damage output. I would say a fairly simple playstyle. You just need good positioning on barrage and make sure you don't override the imbuements since you can only have one imbuement active at a time. Now let's go over the skills and specialization for the build. For our basic attack we're going with puncture mostly because we want the passive fundamental puncture. This is basically a guaranteed vulnerable on the target if you're up close since you only need two blades to hit and as I mentioned in the playstyle we want to hit a vulnerable target so that barrage can ricochet more. And of course our core skill is barrage and then you want to grab advanced barrage and then we took all three points in sturdy and siphoning strikes but when you're leveling you don't get these first right you try to get all the core skills first put points in them first you can come back to these later uh there's a leveling path here on d4 builds that you can follow but yeah for our movement skill we went with shadow step just for the unstoppable and then next we pick up all three points of weapon mastery and for barrage build you will want to reuse a crossbow i like the vulnerable damage from bows but the main affix of bows give extra damage to distant enemies and we want to get close to the enemies not far from the enemies and crossbow's main affix or implicit is vulnerable damage so you definitely want to use a crossbow over a bow and then a really important skill to have is poison trap the main use of poison trap for this build is just to reset the impuments but of course try to poison as many enemies as you can because it does give damage reduction with the passive points debilitating toxins and then we're going to pick up all three points of exploit and malice i think these are really great in most builds and then for our impuments we of course pick shadow and poison and then we pick up all the poison passes and the and the shadow passes as well and of course we are going to pick up precision impuement critical strike chance on impute skills and we have two impuments and ways to reset it so this is going to be a great pickup and then we're going to pick up all of trap mastery so that is why it is a bit important to try to hit your trap on as much mobs as you can because you will do more critical strike chance against them and then we are picking up all three points of haste just for the movement speed and then for the key passive we're going with precision for extra critical strike damage and guaranteed critical strike chance when precision stacks are full and then for the specialization we are going with inner sight because with barrage it is fairly easy to try to hit the mark target because it ricochets and inner sight is super useful against bosses since usually the boss will be the marked target and you kind of just spam abilities on him and inner sight pops very often so i'll say this is mainly for bosses but still very useful against mobs and this makes most sense on this build so for the aspects i've only included a few aspects because realistically when you're leveling you get new better gear so often every three four levels that it's like really resource intensive to keep up all the aspects on all your gears while you're leveling it's probably best if you just keep up like one aspect for the build but anyway the most important aspect to keep up is aspect of branching volleys but you do only get it when you get to howitzer this basically gives barrage a chance to split off into two arrows so basically doubling the damage so i even put a star on it so this is the only aspect you would want to keep up while you're leveling but i've listed uh, some others when which you get pretty fairly on like ravenous aspect you generate more spirit every time you kill a vulnerable enemy so you can spam barrage more you can get these in dry steps so if you haven't found prancing volleys early you can try to get vengeful aspect or aspect of corruption and for the gear affixes just like the aspects 
all your leveling, you won't have time to min-max, right? Uh, so I've listed the most important affixes you want to look for in your gear. You basically just need, need to remember these three or four things just to keep up your damage. First thing you look for is critical strike chance in your gloves and in your rings, and then vulnerable damage, and then try to look for critical strike damage. I've also listed all the affixes you want to have on all your gear. I rank them by importance, so you can just try to get the first one or the second one in your gear, and that should be fine. I don't think you need to min-max while you're leveling up. So to cap off the build, single target is really not that bad with the help of poison imbuement and our specialization. AoE damage is really good with shadow imbuement and poison trap. Although the weak part of the build is its survivability, as we only have one movement skill, but we have enough in our passive skill points that gives damage reduction to make it through the first 50 levels. Clearing speed for content for this build is good, as we do both single target and multi-target well. And finally, the build is really fun to play. Let's be honest, most rogue builds are really fun to play. But yeah, that's the build. I will have the default build link and my graphic for it in the description below. If you like the build, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more of this content. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.